Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and this is a app review. It is called ISS Spotter by Media Pilot. Pilot. Um, it's a free app but it has in-app purchases available. ISS is for the International Space Station. If you are someone that likes to look up at the sky uh, maybe trying to spot satellites crossing overhead. Well, one of the brightest satellites, if you want, that we can spot in our sky is the International Space Station. It's actually so bright that even in big cities where we usually don't see a lot of satellites, you will see the International Space Station cross overhead. But you need to know where to look and at what time to look. And it's not always um, you know all year round so this is a nice app to let you know if there are times where you can spot the International Space Station so free app ISS spotter it is 6.8 megabytes which is quite small it requires iOS 5 or later it's compatible with the iPhone iPad and iPod touch and of course the app is optimized for iPhone 5 you have an in-app purchase of uh, donation, so it it's not a, you know like uh, buying the app actually. It's really donations, so it's helping the uh, developer you know continue his work on this nice little app of ISS Spotter. So once it's installed. What you'll need to do is, uh, so you'll have this little ISS spotter icon, and you will immediately be sent to a map where we, uh, you will see live the ISS, where it is um, at this time in, on the planet. So basically, um, you know, you'll be able to see it move around and it's actually moving at a quite a, a fast pace. It takes about 90 minutes for the ISS to go around Earth. Now, you'll need to use the settings tab to actually locate where you are, either by auto location, auto location by GPS, by enabling this little thing here. It's gonna locate you here. It located my city, Montreal, Canada. Um, it is not on by default, so the first time that I've used it, it said, well, you know, your GPS location is not set, it's not on. So you'll have to go here and put that slider so it works. Or you can click choose and choose the location by, um, by hand on a little map where you have to uh, take that little uh, pin and move it around the map to where you are located. It uh, also will let you know for example I like the time in 24 hour format I like my kilometers instead of miles because I'm Canadian and and you have the TLE data source TLE is the two line elements this is where the app gets its um, elements so that it can actually always be up to date on the um, information to locate the International Space Station and it's actually even more true because the International Space Station is often um, you know moved around because it is such in a low Earth orbit that every week or so they actually push it up a little bit so that it will maintain its orbit and that changes where it is located so you'll have so you know this app has to get the latest data source um, to actually locate it well. You can have alarm set before a pass on your city. Uh, the minimum elevation, if you're in a city for example with buildings, your minimum elevation might be like 40 or 50 degrees, meaning that it needs to be quite high before you can spot it. And uh, you can you know, set the time of the earliest and latest uh, passes that you want to see and uh, so on for weekends and weekdays. So it's a nice app for that. Once everything is set, of course, on the map, if I unlock the map here and actually use it, you will see a little blue dot that's going to show where you are. 
and uh, of course if the ISS is close it's going to show you and at the bottom you have forecast and forecast is quite nice because it will let you know when the ISS is going to pass overhead for example today I can see it at um, about 9.51 p.m. tonight 21.51 and you can click on it and it's going to show you uh, where it's going to actually be located so uh, you can actually use the uh, little um, in you know in your iPhone the compass will actually help you understand uh, where to look depending on what where you are pointing actually and uh, it's going to give you elevation which is the height of the ISS magnitude is the brightness of the ISS and um, it's going to sh tell you uh, that the visible pass is starting at um, 9.51 there's going to be a peak at uh, 9.54.53 seconds uh, to the northwest and it's going to go towards the northeast where it will end around uh, 10 p.m. so it's a 9 minute or 8 minute pass here uh, of course I can click alarm and this will set an alarm to let me know that the 5 minutes before the ISS so I can you know go outside and watch it so this app works well for what it's made uh, you know there's a lot of apps that are made to track satellites and stuff this one tracks only one thing and it does it well the International Space Station so if that's the only thing you want to see that's a great app it's also a great app if you just want to see where it is located at any time and of course that yellow line will show you the tracking so it shows you where it's going to pass in on a map so here I can unlock the map just do this and it's gonna say well look this is the tracking right now of the pass the next pass and you'll see that when it passes overhead uh, on your location you'll see that the track will actually set it overhead so uh, ISS Spotter, why not go and get it? It's a nice app and you'll be able to spot the International Space Station all the time. It's free and hey, if you enjoy it and use it a lot, why not make a little donation? Uh, 99 cents or $2.99. I think it's not too bad to uh, yeah, you know give to someone that actually makes an app that you enjoy using. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have an app or a feature that you'd like to see. Let us know also. We'll try to, of course, um, you know, put that app and that video online. You'll be uh, helping others at the same time. And hopefully you'll come back to the iPad App Source Look channel. Bye-bye.